Okay, so um, what I'd like to talk about next is in terms of polarity. So esters have lower boiling points than carboxylic acids, but they are still higher in terms of comparing it to other um, dipole-dipole groupings. Okay, so for example, here we have an ester. Okay, so we still have dipole-dipole, of course. We actually have quite a few dipoles on here. But just like any other, um, this is almost similar to when you had an ether. So yes, we have dipole-dipole. This is considered to be a polar molecule. What's happening here is that we now are reliant on, or I guess you should say, the effect of these dipoles will depend essentially on how large these hydrocarbon sections are. So if you have a really large, you know, hydrocarbon region, and then let's say this is even a benzene ring, let's say, right? Wow. And it's a big, it's a big oxygen. Anyways, so um, this uh, would actually probably not be very soluble in water. So you have here really, um, you've got to look at the size of your ester. So smaller esters, of course, are polar, they're soluble in water, but in terms of um, intermolecular forces, we have LDF and dipole-dipole. There is no hydrogen bonding here. So what's happening is if you were to compare this to, let's say, a carboxylic acid or an alcohol, it would still be lower uh, in terms of all of the other physical properties that are present, which is exactly what's mentioned here. Okay, so Let's talk about naming esters. So esters is actually the first naming that we're gonna look at that has um, a different structure to the name. So normally there is no spacings in a name. You might have dashes and numbers and commas, but there's no actual physical space. Esters, and there's one other group that also has that, um, is the first group that we've come across so far that will have a space in its name, okay? So remember that the reaction to create an ester, the two reactants that are required are the carboxylic acid and an alcohol. So the portion of the molecule where the C double bond O is, is the portion that originated from the carboxylic acid. So this is actually your parent in the grouping. So you're not looking for the longest chain of carbons. It's the portion of the molecule that came from the carboxylic acid that is the parent chain. The other portion, which came originally from the alcohol, is now considered to be almost like a branch off of the parent. Okay, so the space I'm referring to when you look at the name will be the, uh, the alcohol portion, a space, and then we would name the originating carboxylic acid portion. It'll make more sense once we look at more examples. But there is, of course, there always is a suffix change. So here we have two carbons on our parent. So instead of ethane, it becomes ethanoate. So the O8 portion indicates that we have an ester. So in this case, the ethanoate is our parent. Here we have one, two, three, four, five. So we would have one pentyl space ethanoate. So notice there is now an official space. So, and this is just explaining exactly what I had mentioned before. So you're naming this as if it's a branch, but really the way that the format is of the ester, it's on the other side of that oxygen. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, actually, before we do this, let me give you another example that I'll do with you. So let's say we had... Um, okay, so here we have an ester, right? So here's our ester. The parent, I know I kind of drew it on a weird angle, but the parent would be where the C double bond O region is. 
So your parent is always written last. So here we have four. So this would be butanoate. Now, if you have branches or different things on this section, you would actually still number and report it as normal. But it has to be on the same side as the butanoate part. And of course, carbon one is where the C double bond O is in this ester. So one, two, three. So we have a three bromo butanoate. Uh, there should not be a space there. Let me, no, not that. Yeah, shift a little closer. <laughs> okay. So anything written on the right hand side of the space is everything that is part of the parent structure, like the parent portion. In front of the space, we would write what is on the other side. So in this case, we have isopropyl. So it's isopropyl space 3 bromopentanoate. Okay, so now that you know that, give this one a try. Okay, so our parent is this portion. So we have here, you still want the longest chain. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is hexanoate, right? On carbon, one, two, three, four, we have a methyl group. So it's four methyl hexanoate. The other portion, we have an ethyl group. So it's ethyl space four methyl hexanoate okay so oh i don't even have you trying to draw one out okay let me give you one to try uh let's do s butyl propanoate actually let me give you a break S butyl two phenol propanoate. Okay, try drawing that one out. Okay, so we should have here so propanoate double bond O. On carbon two, we have a benzene branch. So here is our parent portion. We have an oxygen so that we have an ester and then we have s butyl so what that means is we have butyl but it's attached at carbon two okay so those are uh, we looked at carboxylic acid and esters